Looks like I'm going to be by myself today. I know a lot of people are always asking, I'm all by myself. It's got to be so boring. No, no, there's other people that work here. But uh, today, looks like I'm going to be by myself. It's a great day to print some stuff. And also, I need to do developer drum cleaning blade on the 1200. It's that time. I don't even know really why I did that. I don't think anybody's gonna show up today. Okay, so I've been curious as to how much life I can get out of one developer change on the 1200. I know historically speaking, uh, it was right around a million clicks and quality starts to degrade. So the machine suggests that you replace that 1.5 million. Uh, I kept on going because it looked good and uh, well, it's just printing a lot of text and you can get away with a questionable developer at that point. But basically what's happening now is I'm getting a 2803 error message um, randomly through the day and uh, it'll just be printing a job. It'll go to white sheets and then it'll throw the error. And basically uh, what's happening is the developer unit can't lay enough toner down to achieve the correct density so that developer is done now the other thing is i should also replace the drum while i'm in here uh, i i am just going to take a look at it if i think i can keep on going i might just save that for another day so let's uh open her up and replace the developer oh yeah and the the drum that's in there now is only at uh, 1.3 so i have a little while to go to to 1.5 million there but again I would suggest replacing both of those at about a million so it's due so uh, let's turn her off and open her up Okay, then we need to open her up here. There's two hooks. Take that off. Should put some paper down first. Oh well. And these two hooks here, take this cover off. Now, a few weeks ago, actually, I was getting uneven density, and this is basically what I saw in here. A lot of developer on this side and not on this side. And all I did was even it out, and I ran for like two more weeks. Um, but it's certainly time to replace it now. So this is the first time I am replacing developer on here and whenever I need to turn the gears in a specific direction um, I just put marks there to remind me next time uh, so I need to turn both of these in that direction to dump all this toner or this developer out of here.
old developer out of there. You gotta make sure you get all the developer you can off this roller too and out of the out of the main uh, developer unit. Because uh, any of the old developer is gonna mess up the new new developer and could potentially cause low density spots on your print. And when we're pouring this back in, we just uh, basically do everything the same that when we dumped it. We need to turn these two gears in the, the same direction we were turning them before uh, and evenly just pour this in on the augers. And you just need to do this until the developer is even in the whole unit here. Okay, once you have that nice and even, uh, by turning both of these counterclockwise, you can put the covers back on, throw it back in the machine. pulled the charge unit off here just to take a good look at the drum and it doesn't look too bad I mean there are lines in it but I'm just going to leave it in there Don't forget to leave your door open so it doesn't do any adjustments before you go in there and reset the counters. And we need to go in here. And reset the counter. Oh, actually maybe that's here, developer. Counter clear. And the toner density sensor. You perform this when new developer is supplied. So the developer is replaced. Start. Is developer exchanged? Yes. Okay, that's all completed. Then we need to do the drum automatic potential as well as the dot and density auto max density and the dot Then we're done. That's so nice. Looks good. Good for another million clicks. Well, that was easy. If you 
think you could use one of these things, Bod's Equipment is uh, auctioning one off next week. I'll put a link down in the description. You can check it out. Now I guess I gotta go plow some snow. See you next time.